Hello friends, Austin Leibel here coming to talk to you today about fabric administration. One of the different features of fabric administration has to do with the ability to let your users work with different visuals that may not come loaded by default into the Power BI desktop. So some organizations can actually limit the ability to work with new visuals that are not natively installed to Power BI. Some might have limitations on which ones you can work with. Some might have a visual that's actually preloaded into the Power BI desktop automatically for users across their tenant or organization. My goal today is to give you a little bit of background on how you can control and manage all of these different settings for yourself. Do you want to learn more about Microsoft Fabric and Azure? Visit prag.works forward slash Austin 40 and you will save 40% on an annual on-demand learning subscription where you will gain access to over 100 courses. Now, on to the video. So to begin with, let's start focusing a little bit on what is the Power BI Desktop Visualization Pane. This is the ability to go through and work with all of the visuals that you can use to populate a report inside of Power BI Desktop. Now you might have some of your own personal favorites. You might love pie charts or donut charts or a card visual or the paginated visual, but Oftentimes, a user will say, you know what, it's kind of missing something on my report. I need maybe something that doesn't exist automatically as a part of those. Well, if you come over to the ellipses within the visualizations pane, you probably have done this before if you've worked with Power BI for any amount of time, you have that ability to get more visuals. And what this actually does is it gives you access to AppSource, which is a Microsoft owned kind of uh, store, if you will, that has a mixture of different paid and free visualizations that a user could download for one individual report or specifically inside of their Power BI desktop every time they turn that on. So if you're interested in this super tables visual, you can actually go through and import that into Power BI desktop and use it across your organizations. Some organizations though are going to not want you to have the ability to do that. And this is not a video to say this is how you can get around that. This is more about if there is something like that set up, maybe talk with your fabric administrator to be able to determine if that is possible at all to add a visual and they can have some control over which visual you get or users across the organization get as well. So let's talk about that. We'll come back to this screen in just a few moments and see what happens once we get into some fabric admin portal settings. So over in my fabric admin portal, which I can access inside of the fabric uh, workspace, the fabric environment by going to my settings icon and then going down to the bottom underneath the governance and insights category to the admin portal. Now, if a general user were to come in and do this, they would probably see very, very little. They're not going to see all these different settings. So because I am a fabric administrator or fabric admin for short, I have a lot of access to things across my tenant, across the Pragmatic Works organization that I can control for my entire organization. So one thing I could potentially do is go through and turn on or off the ability to work with visuals inside of Power BI. So by using this little filter up here, I just search visuals and I can actually go through and show allow visuals created using Power BI SDK, uh, allow downloads from custom visuals. Custom visuals can get users Microsoft uh, Entra access tokens, add and use certified visuals only. We have a lot of different settings you can enable to be able to decide who and what gets access to what different uh, sources of your data, right? Because you don't want to give access uh, potentially to something that's secure, private, HIPAA, anything like that. Now, if this is enabled or disabled for your organization, potentially, you might not be able to add a custom visual. But one thing your administrator can do that they may not know is they actually have an ability to control what organizational visuals are still allowed inside of the tenant. By going to this category down here called organizational visuals inside of the Fabric Admin Portal, they can control which visuals are allowed for their organization. 
So you'll see here, I have this text filter visual, which I downloaded specifically from AppSource, and I have it currently disabled for the visualization pane. So what that means is this is allowed for someone to be in access inside of the Power BI kind of AppSource window that I just showed you before, but it's not natively installed by default. Now, if I would like to, I can actually come over here to this little ellipses, click on it and enable for the visualization pane. What that's going to do is now every single user inside of Pragmatic Works is going to see this text filter visual. So coming back over to Power BI Desktop, currently you don't see it. But as I close this down and then log back in or open that application back up on my computer, the next time I log in, it will be available inside of my visualizations pane. There it is. It takes an extra second to load, but this is it right there. Well, magnifying glass. That's awesome. So it's a really quick way that an administrator could come in and be able to enable this across the organization. Now I will tell you, you have to at least be a fabric admin to be able to enable this. So you have to have some pretty privileged rights inside of the admin portal, but maybe ask uh, your uh, boss to go through and check out this video if they don't know how to do that. And I can walk them through those steps. The other thing that you have an ability to do is decide from app source what other visuals you want to add. So let's come here and click on the add visual button and you will notice that there are two options from a file or from app source. You actually can download a visualization that maybe your organization specifically built. Someone built a visual that they can go through and just use specifically for your tenant. You could download that from a file or you can get the ones that are out there in app source. Now again, will be kind of um, uh, forewarn you that there can be some of these that do have paid elements to them. So make sure you know that when you're going in or you're recommending this to your admin. Don't say, hey, yeah, this is free. And then it turns out to be um, a couple dollars a month. Nothing's crazy here. But let's say we want this Gantt uh, visual, for example, here. If I go through and click on this and I know that it is a certified visual because Microsoft has put a little check mark by the uh, name of that there. So it's certified, meaning it's going to be, they've tested it, it's gonna work, it's not gonna break my reports. So it's an extra kind of layer of security and uh, uh, kind of confidence you could potentially give uh, to your uh, administrator. Oops, close that. Let me go back to this really quickly. Um, we wanna go through and we wanna add this Gantt visual with that. So all I do is say I want to load the data, click on it, it's going to go look at it, and then I get to decide if I wanna add it or just download a sample. If it is more than free, it's going to tell you right here inside of that pricing tier. I'm gonna go ahead, add that item. Hey, there's the Gantt. Again, I have the ability to enable this for the visualization pane. But again, be warned, this enables it for everyone in the organization, not just a specific user. So if I go through and enable this one, again, I should be able to go back to Power BI Desktop, close that application down, and see also now the Gantt appear. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this session. Hopefully you've kind of learned something new about fabric administration. Be tuned for maybe some more context and conversations around fabric administration as we start to unveil more uh, videos within this series that we're going to be doing. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.